What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today, we're going to talk about all five tractors, the four wheel loaders, and the telehandler that were released with the Farming Simulator 19 Platinum Expansion featuring class plus some accessories that go with each. We will be customizing each one, so if there's something specific that you want to see, make sure you check the description for timestamps to each one. Let's check it out. First up today, we have the Gloss Arian 46410. This can be found in small tractors and has lots of customization. So let's check it out. First up, we have Wheel Brands. Wheel Brands, we have Trelleborg, Nokian, and that is it. In Trelleborg, we have standard tires. We have wheel weights, wides, wides with weights, narrow tires, rear twins, and back to standard again. In Nokian, there is no other customization. For design, we have a standard design and we have a panoramic view design. That is very, very cool at the top. Back to standard again. Engine setups, we have the Arian 410, which gives you 90 horsepower. We have the 420 with 100 horsepower. We have the 430 with 110 horsepower. The 440, 120 horsepower. The 450 with 130 horsepower. And the Arian 460 with 100 and 40 horsepower lots of engine options there to choose from and you could choose to have a front attacher or not so there you go there is your class arian 460 410 next up we have the class arian 660 610 this is going to be found in medium tractors and does not have as many customization options as the 460 410 let's check it out in wheel brand we have trelleborg we have michelin's nokian and Midas tires. In Trailerborg, we have standard tires, wheel weights, we have wides, wides with weights, we have rear twin wheels, twins all around, narrow tires, and back to standard again. In Michelin's, we have standards, wheel weights, wides, wides with weights, rear twins, and twin wheels. And in Nokian, you can't change a thing. However, in Midas, we have standards, wheel weights, rear twins, Twins all around and back to standard again. For his engine setups go, we have the Arian 610, which is going to give you 145 horsepower. We have the Arian 630, which is going to give you 165 horsepower. The 650, which is going to give you 185 horsepower. And the 660, which is going to give you 205 horsepower. And you can attach a front loader, yes or no. So that is very, very cool. Next up, we have the Class Axion 870-800. Again, this can be found in medium tractors. And again, a few less options here. Seems like we're getting less and less the farther up we go. Here, we have three wheel options for you, Trelleborg, Michelin, and Midas. All of these have the exact same setups. I'm going to show them anyway, though. Trelleborg's standards, we have wheel weights, wide tires, which I've got to say, that is an amazing wide tire look on those. Man, that looks good. We also have wides with weights. We have rear twins and twin wheels. Same exact thing in Michelin standards, wheel weights, wide tires, wide tires with weights, rear twins and twins all around. And last but not least, in Midas tires, the same thing here, standard, wheel weights, wides, wides with weights, rear twins and twin wheels all around. We have quite a few engine setups, however, in the Axion 800, we have 205 horsepower. In the 810, we have 215 horsepower. In the 830, we have 235 horsepower. The 840, 250 horsepower. The 850, 264 horsepower. And the 870 with 295 horsepower. There you go. That is the class Axion 870-800. Next up, this is where we start working with the big boys. This is the Class Axion 960-920. This can be found in large tractors, and we have very similar customization to the Axion 870. Let's take a look. In wheel setups, we have Trelleborg, Michelin, and Midas tires. In Trelleborg, we have standards, wheel weights, wides with weights, rear twins, twin wheels all around, and back to standard. Michelin, standard, Wheel weights, wides, wides with weights, rear twins, twin wheels. Do you see a pattern here yet? Midas tires, standards, wheel weights, wides, wides with weights, rear twins, twin wheels all around. Does this not look mean or what? Look at this thing. <laughs> it's massive. Man, I love it. Let's kick those back over to Trailer Board. And our engine setups today. 
We have the 920, which is going to give you 325 horsepower. We have the 930, which is going to give you 355 horsepower. The 940, which is going to give you 385 horsepower. 950 with 410 horsepower. And finally, the 960, which is going to give you 445 horsepower. This right here is a workhorse. Yes, it is. There you go. That is the Axion 960 920. And the last tractor today, this is the Class Zerion 5000 4000. Of course, you're going to be able to find this in large tractors. And here it is, the biggest, baddest boy of them all. Man, I love this thing. We've got a couple different wheel options for you. So in Trelleborg, we have standards, wide tires, twin wheels, narrows. Yep, narrows. Narrow twins. What is that all about? And then back to standard again. Michelin's, we have standard, wide tires, twin wheels, narrow tires, narrow twins, and back to standard again. And in Midas tires, we have standards, wides, twins, narrows, back to standard. No dual narrows on there. Go down by the trailer board. In 4000, Zarian 4000 engine, we have 435 horsepower. See the nose get a little bit bigger there? That's pretty cool. In the Zarian 4500, we have 490 horsepower and the biggest one of them all, the Zarian 5000. This is a 530 horsepower workhorse. Yes, it is. It's going to cost you 400 grand too. Don't get me wrong, but this thing is cool. Now, this has a, uh, well, it's got a party piece to it. With the Zarian 5000, what we can do is if you're on Xbox, you can hold right bumper, left bumper, and hit A. And that is going to completely swap this guy around. And now all of your driving controls have swapped as well so that you can change. <laughs> it's just the coolest thing in the world. And then when you're done doing that, boop, it just turns it around for you and puts it back where it was. How did that's just so cool, man. And we have front and rear three point links. So we're good to go. It's this is. It's so awesome. Man, I love it. To pair with these tractors, we have two different front loader attachments, which only attach to the class tractors. These do not work with any other tractor, so make sure that you're not trying to make them work. We have two of them. Again, we have the FL120C and the FL140. The 120C works best with the Arian 460 410, and the FL140 works best with the Arian 660 610. Let's check both of these out in the store. Where are you going to find them? These are going to be found in front loaders and will be the first mods. First is the FL120C. Again, this works best with the Arian 460 410, which is the smallest tractor that we have with this DLC. And with the Kloss FL140, it's going to cost you about eight grand for this one. Again, works best with the Arian 660 610, which is the second largest one. And that is the first one in medium tractors as well. Again, no customization on either one of these. And I can't stress this enough. They only work with the new Kloss tractors. I can't get them to hook up to anything else. Making our way into the wheel loaders and telehandlers. This is the Kloss Scorpion 1033. Where are you going to find this one? Well, this is going to be found in vehicles and in telehandlers. And here it is, the Scorpion 1033 with the Class Pack. Boom, right there. Wheel brands. We've got a couple different ones here for you. We have Trelleborg and Nokian tires. And in Trelleborg, you can do standard or wide tires. That's awesome. I love being able to do wide tires. I love putting wide tires on pretty much everything. So I think that that is great. The price is extremely reasonable as well. $96,000. Base price on that one, 136 horsepower, uh, as opposed to the Manitou, for example, this has 129 horsepower, so a little bit less, and the class costs less, which is even better. Now, there is one thing in particular that is very interesting about this, and I'm going to show you guys that right now. For this comparison, we are going to use the Massey Ferguson. So as you can see, both of these pretty high, I would say about the same height we're going to jump in here into the massey and i'm just going to extend this arm as far out as i possibly can okay about right there that's not too far now if i jump in the class and i start to extend i think <laughs> you can see the difference now can't you instead of one extension this has two built-in extensions 
that is super i mean you could you might be able to put stuff on top of the building with the uh the massey here but you could put things on top of the top of the building with the claws so again keep that in mind that is an amazing size difference right there yo that's cool. Next up, we have the Glass Torian 639. Now, this says it is a wheel loader. However, I beg to differ. And I could say the Kramer is no longer alone. Let's check this out in store. Where are you going to find this? This is going to be in vehicles, front loaders, and it is right beside it. Right here. A little bit more expensive, a little bit less horsepower, but that is okay because... We can put front duels on it. So I don't even care, man. I don't even care. 68 horsepower, 50 liters of fuel, 12 miles per hour, $64,000. It's it's not the most expensive thing. It's not the cheapest thing. But I can tell you, this is cool. If you're not familiar with the Kramer, basically what these are is they are vehicle versions of front loaders. So the attachments that we have for tractors, that kind of thing, they use those attachments on the front here. However, it's its own vehicle. It is not a separate thing. It's not another tractor. You don't need an extra tractor because you have something that is for that specifically. <laughs> that is the coolest thing I've ever seen. I love it. I'm definitely going to be using one of these. There you go. That is the Klaus Torian 639. Next, this vehicle can be found in Will Loaders. This is the Klaus Torian 596 Sinus or Sinus, however you want to call it. Where are you going to find this one? Well, again, this is going to be in wheel loaders. Is going to be your very first one right here. $114,000. Let's click on it. Check it out. 106 horsepower. So it's not a lot of horsepower, but it gets the job done nonetheless. Wheel brands, we have Trelleborg, Nokian, Minus, back to Trelleborg again. In Trelleborg, we have Standards and Front Twins. Yes. Oh, man. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I don't know if somebody was listening to me or somebody else, but I do love a good front twin on these vehicles right here. In Nokian, you can't change anything. Do keep that in mind. Nor can you in Midas either. Though the Midas tires, I think, might look the best on these. Nokians don't look bad. But those Midas tires, those look good. Those are also going to be more of your wide tire, the bigger version of that. But nonetheless, there you go. That is the Class Torian 956 Sinus. And the last vehicle that is part of the base game, this is the Class Torian 1914 wheel loader. This is the biggest, baddest boy of them all. Let's click on it and check it out. This is going to cost you base price of 200. So here's the thing, 248,500. We click on it, immediately we have to pay more, 251,000. But we can go to Midas Tires and we are perfectly fine. But if we go up to Michelin or Nokians or Trelleborg, it changes the price up on it. Yes, we have that many wheel options. Again. Midas tires, that's going to be more of your standard tire. Do be careful if you think you're paying the one price. When you click on it, it's going to change it up immediately. Michelin tires, the Michelins look amazing on here. The Nokians, which I think are super, super good looking. Man, those look really nice. And of course, Trelleborg, my favorites of all. But on this one, mm, Nokian. Nokian's definitely my favorite on this one. A lot of horsepower, 224 horsepower. Holds 280 liters of fuel, goes 24 miles per hour. This is your standard wheel loader right here. What is not standard is the pre-order bonus of this vehicle. This is the Klaus Torian 1914 Dev Mule. This is what's well, pretty interesting. So I'm thinking it's Dev Mule because these look like horseshoes. Uh, <laughs> it looks like that Lamborghini from that was popular back in the early 2000s that somebody had drew on with Sharpie. It's just nuts. That's exactly what this is. It's absolutely crazy. But it's cool. Nonetheless, it is very cool, and it's going to hold a purpose. It is right beside the other one. Uh, a little bit more expensive, so we're going to click on it. Starting in Trelleborg, uh, we have $250,000 for this guy right here. Trelleborg tires, Midas tires, Michelin tires, and Nokian. So exactly the same as the in-game version, except you cannot change the paint, which you couldn't change the paint before, and you cannot change the wheel color. Now, here's one thing that I did notice. If you'll look here, look at the pipe. Look at the exhaust pipe. Black, okay? Pretty normal, right? However, we get in here, it's chromed out. All right, maybe that's just me. I don't know, but it looked just a little bit different. Cool, nonetheless. But there you go. That is the Class 
Torian 1914 Dev Mule. This is a pre-order vehicle. You will not have gotten this if you did not pre-order. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. And all right, please subscribe. If you have any questions about the stuff that we talked about today, let me know down in the comment section below. I'd be happy to help you guys out. But with that being said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace.